My parents put me in here. They think it was Kelly's death that sent me over the edge. They thought I'd gone nuts. But you know what the truth is? They're the ones who should have been put away. There are tons of kids just like me. It was a relief to finally meet someone who understood. His name was Calypso. He ran this contest. He said if I won, I could fulfill Kelly's dying wish. I could avenge her death. So I told him I'd play his stupid game. Kelly was my best friend in the world. I would have died for her. Who knows, maybe if I'm lucky, I'll get the chance. Being unconscious is like being in a pitch black room with no doors, no lights, and no way out. I could have stayed in that place forever, but then, the dreams began. Kelly and I were on the pier. School had just let out. We were using our tarot cards, trying to find out if this boy Kelly liked would ever notice her. It was a really bad reading. I guess if I ever needed proof that the cards actually worked, that was the day I got it. They were some jerk-off guys from school. They called us witches. One guy grabbed me, another went after Kelly. He said he'd always wanted to see if a witch could swim. I kept screaming at him, she can't swim! Kelly can't swim! <coughs> I didn't know how to swim either. There was nothing I could do. They didn't stick around to help. As Kelly went under, I heard her shouting to me. You get them, she said. You make them pay for this. And then I didn't hear her anymore. I've waited five months for this chance. Kelly trusted me with her last request. I promise I'll deliver. That's what best friends are for. won Calypso's stupid game. He said it was time to claim my prize. It was time for Kelly to get her revenge. I didn't know what Calypso was getting at at first, but then I began to see revenge this way. It's what Kelly would have wanted more than anything in the world. An eye for an eye, blood for blood. It was the coat of the witch. It's weird. As I pushed that first pin down, I felt something give. It was like pushing into a person. And from far away, I could have sworn I heard someone screaming. It took two days for the cops to find the bodies. When they got there, well, let's just say it wasn't a very pretty sight. I've kept the voodoo dolls in case I ever run into my parents again. I know I won't see Kelly anytime soon, but I often feel like she's with me, protecting me. People may come and go, they live, and they die. But a true friend is forever.